Welcome back guys. So in the previous video we saw how can we do joins and relates and now we know what is the difference between joins and relates. So what we will do right now we will create a relationship class and a relationship class is basically you create the relationship very similar to relate but you create it on the database level and you do it when you create your geo database. So for example if you are creating a new geo database for a city or a country or for any kind of map you know you have to keep in mind and design the architect for your geo database before you start creating your geo database and when you do the architect you keep in mind what is the connections between the features for example you want to connect the countries with the rivers that exist in these countries or you want to connect cities with the freeways for these cities so you have to keep in mind that when you do the architect for your geo database you always have to think about what is the relationships and you will create a relationship class when you create your features before even you add any data so let's see how can we create a relationship class and what we can do if we have a relationship class between two feature classes so the way to do a relationship class you need to go to the catalog go to your geo database and you can create a new relationship class inside feature dataset or outside a feature dataset but relationship class have to be created inside a geo database so here we will go inside our california dataset and we will create a new feature class that connects orange county cities to the cities layer that we have outside here and we will do that in order for us to do something very similar to the relate but we do it on the geo database level before we even uh, add any data to our map very similar to what we did with the relate but here we do it on the geo database level and even you will find that when you define the relate you have the same options to define the relationship class so we right click here and say new and you will find that we have the option to create a relationship class and when you click on it you will have the geoprocessing window open for you and here it asks you what is the origin table that will connect to the destination table so here we will choose uh, orange county cities which is this one and this is the alias orange county cities is the alias for the layer that is named orange county underscore cities and we know that and here the destination table will be uh, another one it's not in the geo database here so we will choose our geo database and add this one which right now in our map it's cities so we'll choose this one and say okay and here we define the name for our relationship class so we can keep the same name orange county cities and here we define the relationship class name so let's call it relationship class and here you define the relationship type and we have two types simple and composite the difference between them simple considered every single features from this layer and this layer is single and separate features but they are just connected together using uh, attribute but when you choose composite that means one feature or the origin table controlling the other destination table so for example if you are creating a relationship class between cities and streets and this is streets exist inside the city and if the city doesn't exist that means the streets doesn't exist so here if you choose composite relationship and the origin table is the cities and the destination table is the streets if you deleted a city from the feature class of the cities the streets will be deleted as well so the streets cannot exist without the cities that is connected to using the relationship class if the relation type is composite if it's a simple that means every single feature is separate and they don't control each other so that's what relationship type is so we will keep it default simple and here in the forward path label and the backward path label you define the name for the relationship class when you open this relationship so here we can say cities so this is just a label to define your relationship because you can actually create multiple relationships for each feature class with another feature classes so here we can name it cities points and here we can name it orange cities polygon and you do that because sometimes you need to create multiple relationships between one feature class and multiple feature classes uh, cities polygon and here message direction you choose if it's forward or backward so here we will choose backward from origin to destination that means when we open the orange county cities it will control the destination table or it will make the relationship between the destination table or backward the opposite direction or you can do both so when you work on this one you can have a relationship with this one or the opposite so we will choose both here here we say that it's one to one 
one city in the polygon layer will be related to one city in the point layer. Again, if you have cities and streets, every city have multiple streets, so that will be one to many. So here we will choose one to one. You can choose if you want to create attributes for your relationship class or not. So we will keep this unchecked. And here it asks you what is the fields or the common field between both of them. Same thing we did with the join and same thing we did with the relate. We will choose the Orange County City's city name. And here we will choose the name from the city's point. And we will say run. And you will see in a few seconds we will have a new relationship class shown up right here. And now we have our relationship class created right here as you see. And if you open up right click and say properties, you will see that you can see the properties and all the things we chose when we created it. You will see it right here. And this is one of the way to check any properties for any relationship class. So if you received or you open a new J database or some data have been sent to you to work on it and you don't know what this relationship class does or what is the relationship it's used in this relationship class, you can say right click and open the properties and you can see all the properties for your relationship class. So now let's go back to our map and see what this relationship class will do to us on our map. So here we have the cities point for Orange County cities polygon. And we also open the attribute table for this one. You will see that if I selected any records here and I go right here to this icon and I selected related data, you will see here I have the relationship class that I created will show up here and when I click on it, it will also select this specific cities that is related to this point. So you will see that every single city we select here, Brea, Buena Park, Irvine, Costa Mesa, it's the same ones selected for us here. So if I come here again and I select only this one and I go again and I say related data and I open this one, you will see that it will choose only the related records from the other one. Again, it's very similar to join and relates, but you do it on the geodatabase level and you can add more options to it. So you can make it composite or simple or the other options we saw when we created the relationship class. And because we did it both ways, now we can clear our selection from here and we make sure that we show all records and any record you choose from here. This is the Orange County cities. Let's say Santa Ana. Same thing. I can click here and I go to related data and it will show me the name for the relationship I created and when I click this one it will open the cities attribute table and show me that here is the related feature to the one I selected from the Orange County cities. So basically that's it for the relationship class and that's it for this video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.